Navy SEAL is an individual who uh, has been forged through adversity, who has uh, overcome so many obstacles to become the best warrior that they can be uh, on and off the battlefield, uh, and someone who proudly serves their country uh, in some of the most awful places, but also comes home and is the baseball coach, the uh, usher of the church, uh, and things like that. So I think pride of being a warrior diplomat, uh, sometimes it's hearts and minds, and sometimes it's two to the heart and one to the mind. So. My name is Steve Gonzalez. My name is Gonzo. Uh, born and raised in New Orleans, joined the Navy in 1982. Retired in 2016. A couple of years into my career, some guys came on my ship, didn't look like us, didn't act like us. And I said, who are those guys? They said, those are SEALs. I didn't know what they were. I went and talked with them and I said, that's the job for me. The one thing that I enjoyed when I talked to them that was different was uh, the get it done mentality. And just the, the camaraderie of that small group. And just talking with them and, and finding out what does a SEAL do and what's it take to be a SEAL. The thing that captured me the most was having a direct impact on our national security. That's what drove me to, to apply for BUDS, attend BUDS, graduate, and follow it on to my entire career was being at the tip of the spear, if you will. The rest is history. I, I enjoyed uh, over 20 years in the SEAL teams and uh, truly loved it. Went all around the world. Some great places, some not so great places, but uh, served my country as best as I could, and I'm uh, proud to say that True combat deployment was to Afghanistan in 02, uh, right, like I said, right after 9 11, we were there. Uh, and it was it was what I thought it was going to be. We were out there hunting hunting down the bad guys. Uh, it was right after everything, so the rules of engagement were hey, go out and do what you got to do within the law of the land, uh, the rules of armed conflict. So it was, it was nice knowing that we were there, we're the cutting edge. Of, uh, of restoring order and also, you know, finding those who were responsible for the attacks on 9/11, uh, it was it was pretty neat. But what was really unique about it was we we're there for the one-year anniversary of 9/11, and uh, the whole base real quiet. And they had a ceremony that went over the entire base, and they played the song by Alan Jackson, uh, "Where Were You?" And you heard the entire base just as quiet as can be. It just reminded us of why we were there, what we're doing for our country. Uh, so it was, it was pretty neat. It felt good, if that makes sense. Uh, you know, you know, you're there. You, you know, why we're there. Uh, it felt good because they didn't want to wait. You know, we want everybody wanted to get there. Everybody wanted to, like you say, uh, uh, maybe a little reciprocity for what had happened. So it felt good. It was also a little nerve wracking, a little scary, like, okay, what am I getting myself into? But we studied, we, we, we never go into an operation not knowing what we're getting ourselves into. So we studied the history of Afghanistan. We knew where we were going, what we were doing, and what we were doing it for. So that was, uh, was exciting, humbling to know that you have that responsibility of representing our country and doing that. Um, but it was, uh, it was enjoyable. <laughs>
sometimes when I meet people and I, they, they find out that I'm a SEAL, they say, you don't look like a SEAL. I say, well, what am I supposed to look like? They're thinking of Hollywood. They're thinking of Schwarzenegger, Stallone, you know, those kind of guys. And also the lone wolves. They think of the lone wolves. That's the biggest misconception that we have where we wake up every day and say, okay, who do I get to shoot in the face today? I can't wait to do this. I can't wait to do that. Uh, we have a job to do just like everybody else. Our job is 24-7. You don't turn it on, turn it off. You're always thinking and acting like a SEAL. But we also, while we're doing that, we coach little leagues. We attend school fundraisers, uh, all that stuff too. So while we have a rough job, a job that takes us all around the world to do bad things to bad people, we still are just family men, uh, sons, husbands, brothers, uh, and patriots. the brotherhood. That's what makes the SEAL team so special. There are other part, there are other forces out there who train just as hard and uh, and aspire to be you know, some of the best. But what really separates the SEAL team, in my opinion, is the brotherhood. Um, that's really what, what makes it so special to me.